Silencing the guns by 2020. This is one of the goals that has been set by the African Union on the road to achieving Agenda 2063 with the aim of giving Africans the Africa they want. I am not aware of the African Union's uh, resolution to silence guns by 2020, but it's definitely a resolution that uh, our communities will endorse and support. Yes, I do. I am aware of it. No, I've, I've never heard of it. I think the reason why we're not knowing is because our government is, uh, I think, it's not good in communicating uh, what the rest of the world and Af Africa is saying around guns and violence, uh, gun violence. 2020, that's less than six months away. And just last weekend, Cape Town woke up to the news of 11 people having died due to bullets in Philippi. So now some people might look at this and wonder just how achievable this goal for 2020 is. Others might wonder what the powers that we are actually doing to ensure its performance. But maybe the real question is, whose responsibility is it really to make sure that the bullets, the guns, are silenced in Africa by next year? The responsibility to ensure that this happens is purely the state. Um, in conjunction with the community. For me personally, it is the responsibility of government and also the community um, that we can ensure that we save lives um, with, in relation to gun, firearms and guns that is on, on, in our communities that are killing our community. Well, I believe that silencing the guns would be a collective responsibility um, of both the state and communities. I will say lies strictly with government. Yeah, we as community can play a big role, but the ultimate role is government. It is true. The government does have a huge role to play. A lot of the power lies in their hands because they have the ability to mobilize militaries, to mobilize people, right? They have the ability to even change and put some knots and bolts that are tightened in the legislation for firearms in South Africa. But civil society, you have power too. The country South Africa to us is um, that it will limit the amount of gang violence and on our Cape Flats. It will also limit the amount of deaths um, and, and injuries, um, permanent injury to our to our to our residents of Cape Town, um, especially the Cape Flats. Um, it will be peace to our communities as well. We will live in harmony, and that people would be able to engage with disputes instead of killing one another using firearms. It will really um, enable us to live our lives um, as ordinary people in an ordinary cultured society. Uh, what guns has done to our society, it has uh, made us violent, it has made us um, powerless, and it's made the wrong people powerful. Well, mean for me that I will be safe I will be free to go wherever I want to go. The same will apply to my children. And I think the time has come that guns must be banned from the soil of Africa. The AU believes that this goal, this agenda, can be achieved if it is started on local levels. In other words, at home. So if peace, peaceful methods of conflict resolution, discussion and negotiation are first preached at home, then this could then overflow into communities, into cities, into countries, into the continent and even the world. Mr. President, I think that it is time that you need to step up um, to the plate and come to the Cape Flats. Engage with us because our communities do have recommendations and solutions to our challenges, but at this stage there is civil war on the Cape Flats. We are burying kids on a daily basis between the ages of 16 to 25 and what we are saying that one life is one life too many. Let's preserve our youthful, our few, that's supposed to be our future generation and let us work together in order to ensure that we have a safer um, community for all our kids. With regards to the president, he needs to have a, a total re-look um, re at, the, at the justice system within South Africa. Um, he needs to also have a close relationship with, with, with the communities of, 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 of the Cape Flats specifically as well, um, in order to, to address their, their, their needs. Um, and also he needs to also look at um, how do we improve um, the, 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 the amount of police within our communities as well. We expect the president to, to 
really uh, step up to the plate and, and show true leadership. I don't think enough is being done on the part of the presidency in order to address uh, the reality of crime on the Western Cape and, and throughout South Africa for that matter. We are fed up. We want this to stop. We want the violence to stop. And he, as a president of this country, has a responsibility to stop this violence and stop it now. And as we end off today, we leave you with the words of AU Commissioner for Peace and Security, Smal Shoge. He said, silencing the guns is the responsibility of all Africans. Let's work. What is important is that we work for that goal. You're watching EA. Spread the word.